Four outstanding opera singers from some of the country's top opera houses are set to perform opera outdoors. It's the third year for the event, a special way to kick off the 2015-16 season for Opera Omaha. But you won't need to buy tickets. This concert is free. It is from Opera Omaha conductor Jay Goff, also with us, director Henry McCarthy. Good to see you. Welcome, Good Henry. Morning. Good, Good to see morning. you again. Yeah, so morning. Friday, September 11th, right? Mm -hmm. Turner Park, this is where it's going down. Correct. Yeah, Seven, tell us about this event. 7.30 in the evening, Opera Omaha will take the stage, but get there early because Ballet Nebraska will have a pre-show starting mm -hmm. at 7. And, of course, people can come to the park anytime after 5.30 and get their place in the, mm -hmm. in the park. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. As I said, you've done it before. This is our third to annual. To bring it back, it must be because the response was so positive. What have you heard from guests before? We, we didn't know that song was from opera. Oh, oh that oh, was sure. so beautiful music. Mm -hmm. and, and people just have enjoyed all of the different kinds of music we've offered. Like, what type of music are we talking about? Because some of these songs, like you said, they're, are familiar to the audience. What, what are we going to be hearing? You could have heard these songs, maybe, or these tunes in different forms, in, in film or in background. It's going to be a tune that you've, you've heard somewhere, but you can't say right where you've heard mm -hmm. it. You might have heard it in a commercial. Like jingles, exactly. yeah, like like a jingles commercial jingle. commercials. In an animated film or yes. something like that, and not realize the not opera realize. connection. So the four performers Mike mentioned from opera houses all over the country. Who are you excited to bring in? We have four great artists. Three that will stay for Barber of Seville that follows after nice. this. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Sandra Peaks Eddy who has here, been here previously, John Moore. We have Andrew Bidlike that was last here in Cinderella. And Leah Partridge is returning. She's been here several times in the mm -hmm. past. Great artists. And also part of you're going to have the, you're going to put these large display screens off to the sides of the stage, right? We do. We yeah. have several cameramen taking the uh, shots of the stage and then blowing them up so people can see them up close from a distance. Mm -hmm. So it's not just little ants down on mm -hmm. the stage, yeah, you yeah. get will a little up close. Will you offer subtitles too? Yes, we <laughs> always translate everything into <laughs> yeah. English so people can follow along if they're not uh, comfortable with listening to the Italian or French or German. Mm -hmm. What's it like singing opera outside? Because usually it's done in these big theaters like the Orpheum or whatnot. But uh, to be outside, uh, um, how, how does that translate differently? Well, the one thing that's different is, is we have to use microphones because we don't microphone mm -hmm. operas in the Orpheum. That is all acoustic. So having a, a sound guy and having all of the amplification is a different thing for an opera company to have to to do. Mm -hmm. And the elements too with their voice, I'm sure they might, the artists might take a few um, extra precautions or, or does the outdoor air not affect their instrument the well, way we, I might think? We tell think, everyone to bring their allergy medications <laughs> if they, if they <laughs> right. have allergies because this time of year in Omaha can be rough. Mm -hmm. And depending on the weather it could be a little warmer yeah. than inside a theater yes. setting. Yeah. We that. usually have a sound check right before at around five o'clock and it's quite warm mm -hmm. usually then. Yeah. It's usually nice by 7, 7.30. Henry, let's talk about access and an event like this and, and what mm -hmm. it means to open up this world of opera to people who might not otherwise take a chance on it. Yeah, well, it, it's fantastic, right? You have the opportunity to go to listen to world-class singers in a beautiful outdoor setting, uh, and it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a family event. Uh, I think it's also, it will make a great date night. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's, <laughs> That's what uh, I thought with Omaha Love in the house, if you're looking, right? Yes, A yes. new relationship, or if you've been married for 30 <laughs> years and you want to get out and try something new. Yeah. It's a smart yeah. time to do it. And then making, but I, I want to expand on this point that she was talking about a little bit, but it, making opera more accessible, mm -hmm. uh, because getting uh, kids involved with opera. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't really want to, I didn't want to go to the opera. Um, but you were in the opera. But I was in the opera at some point <laughs> later on. As right. we've all heard, Jay, right. God, I know, time I've and told again. the story many times. But <laughs> to get the younger generations involved and um, experienced with opera, mm -hmm. I know that's a major focus of, of what you guys are trying to do. Mm -hmm. We do. Uh, we, we are. are always trying to go to youth uh, museums, o Omaha Children's Museum, to try to present opera and s show kids how it's so accessible. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing that later this year. So it's really good for all ages. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the first show after this. This A couple of those artists Barber, would Seville. be staying. Are there, are there other shows you want to let us know about as you're starting to roll out this brand new season? Yes, we've announced the season. We start with Barber of Seville in October. Mm -hmm. In February, we're doing Puccini's little-known opera, La mm. Fanchula del West. And we'll finish the season with a Handel opera, which is Baroque opera. It's uh, Semele. So we have three completely different styles this mm -hmm. season. Something yeah. for everyone. Season tickets still mm -hmm. available? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Online. It's operaomaha.org. So you can learn about every single show coming this next season. But what's exciting is to kick it all off, they offer this free show outdoors at Turner Park. Such a neat venue and a special opportunity indeed on the 11th starting. Not the music at 730, but as you said, Ballet Nebraska will be there. So I would really encourage you getting there closer to 630 to get your seat and really take in the entire evening and what it has to offer. And since Mary brought it up, I'm sure you're wondering, the season of opera that I did was, um, <laughs> it was Tosca, uh, Pagliacci, and Falstaff. Do you well, remember three, any? three great, great operas. What's uh -huh. that? Do you remember anything that you could share with us today? I don't. I, mean, <laughs> I, I really can't remember. We'll work that, that up for next. <laughs> we'll, next time we'll work. One it of these out. days, he's going to mention it enough. You're just going to offer yep. him a I spot. Think we, just we to need get to do this. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jay. Henry, Thank you. nice Thank to have you here. Thank you.